you know, what kind of things that you invested in to kind of get you where you are now? I know it takes a little bit of money, but you know, also it takes a little bit of knowledge and stuff like that. So what kind what are the things that you invest in to kind of get you to, to where you at now? As far as what the tattoo shit? Yeah. Tattooing the merge, the ideas, creativity, like what, what what got you, what you invest in? Like, did you read some books or were you around some new people? Like, you know what I mean? Was your circle changed? Like what, what, what was different? Honestly, for surely it, it's more like it's the, it's the who, you know, type shit like that. That got a big part with it for sure. Like watching people and, and, uh, researching different shit. It just, it helped me for sure. Like seeing what machines I need to use and shit like that. You feel me? And asking questions. I mean, yeah, you either gonna get you gonna get your information or you're not. Yeah, man, I know that. I know that that circle, man, for tattooing artists, it's, it's probably has its own niche niche uh, circle where you only can be around people that's really tattooing and getting to it. So, did someone take you under the wing? Because I know you're talking about how you've probably been self taught. Did someone take you under the wing, or did you kind of just like, man, I'm just gonna figure this thing out as I go? Yeah, not nah, honestly, it was one person, like one person, bro, ever like to really help me out, like even like just a little bit. And that's all I needed. Like when I first started, I was getting tatted by the nigga. It's uh, this uh, OG white dude in Vacaville. His name Ant. So he like just like I used to always like he had a garage, but it was set up like a shop. Like the shit looked like a real tattoo shop. How he had it set up. So I used to always like I used to catch the bus over there, walk over there, ride my bike, whatever. You feel me? So basically, he like I'm not about to like teach you how to tat because like niggas get paid for that on some apprentice type shit. He was like, you can just watch what I do, and it's good. Nigga, I'm telling you, everything I watched him do, I go straight home after that and practice on somebody and try this shit out. Yeah, it had to. It be like that, man. You got to grind to get to where you want to be, man. And sometimes it's, it's just watching people and doing what they're doing and kind of like following their footsteps. You know, and that's always a good because, man, sometimes you kind of get out there on your own and you just don't know and you just be just like swimming and you kind of be drowning a little bit until you kind of get around mm -hmm. somebody who's been doing it for a little while, kind of give you a little guidance. And it's always good to be around somebody. So 